<laughs> what? 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 I'm so excited for Dodd Trail. It's so weird catching up on MSQ also. In my head, I'm trying to figure out now that Dodd Trail is almost here. I know I said it in the past that, oh, we're going to start 6.5 on YouTube and Twitch simultaneously. After I started it or thought about it, well, and thought about it more, it's like, it's not, it's not like a fresh, fresh start point to me. And I don't think 6.1, 6.2, 6.3, 4, 5, 5, 5 are substantial enough to warrant, you know, YouTube multi-streaming. But like Don Troll is and I'm I, I'm excited on uh, on a content front, but I'm also excited just for the game. I already know two things I want to stream both on YouTube and Twitch, which is Don Trail and the New Game Plus when the graphic update drops cuz I I think those would be fun to have as two separate playlists. Granted, the downside to that is when we start New Game Plus, it's going to be open season for spoiler discussion. So, I'm going to say now and I'm going to say it many times before we get to that point and many times as we go through that. If you don't want to be spoiled on FF14 at all, those will not be the streams for you. Those will be open season. We're going to talk about Thancred and Reen like the moment Thancred shows up on screen. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna talk about Heidelin and Vana the moment the crystal shows up. Yoshi P. Yoshi P. Why is it so quiet? There we go. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Ow. God damn it. <laughs> hello, Pax East, and hello, Warriors of Love. Thank you for coming. We're so excited to see you. It's been a jam-packed week. We had patch 6.58 draw earlier, and we also had our official launch on Xbox Series X. And Yay! Series X. <laughs> I hope the Xbox players are having fun. We hope you've been treating all of our new sprouts as kindly as you can, and maybe have been picked up some uh, extra poetics as you've been queuing with them. No. That said, we have a lot of fun news coming. Q's been so, taking forever. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce to the stage the producer and director of Final Fantasy XIV, Naoki Yoshida! Thank you for watching our live stream. My name? name is Naoki Yoshida, producer and director of Final Fantasy XIV. Is that a Lollafell on a chocobo? What's the picture that it's holding? Oh, yes. Hi, I'm Aimee from Square Enix. I'll be helping Yoshida-san here with the translations today. But yeah, thank you guys so much for coming to today's panel. Lots and lots of you out here. There. It's like fan fest again. I forgot PAX was happening, by the way. I had no, I had no idea. Hikari so for today's PAX main stage, uh, of course, we would like to thank all of our players, our warriors of light around the world, um, looking back at the 10 years of Final Fantasy XIV, and then also talk about some new stuff that's coming up and how we're going to proceed from there. Should we be in just chatting for this? <laughs> it's FF14. I'm not playing, though. Having this opportunity and having a venue mm. to speak about our title and get together with all of the players in, and just get excited is such on, uh, an honor. So, again, I just want to thank everybody, all our players. <laughs> Ah, someone's dressed as Cryo in the crowd. Uh, 
変遷してきたかちょっと振り返ってみたいと思います。Okay, so I'd like to take a look at our trajectory since 2013's release of A Realm Reborn and the registered number of accounts. レルムリボーンリリースしてから400万人。えー、そして1000万人、1800万人、こうどんどん増えていきました。えー、ちょっと正直信じられない数字まで、えー、皆さんのおかげでこうバックアップ、ね、してもらったかなと思ってます。But yeah, we are truly、um, blown away by these numbers. It's almost unbelievable to us, but it's just so wonderful to have so much back,、uh, a backup or support from you all. I d- this is where I'm not going to understand that. Like, granted, yes, these are not active accounts, these are registered accounts, just flat out. I don't understand the people that doom, what, I don't know, a doom post about how. Much less active Endwalker was compared to Shadowbringers. This growth is still crazy. And the growth from Endwalker to now, if this is the if just rounded amount, which it probably is because they're all clean round numbers, that's still 5 million accounts from Endwalker to just 6.55, well, 5.8, technically, wherever, whenever they took this. I don't, they probably didn't take this yesterday, but. That's still a crazy amount of growth. Five million new accounts is, is crazy. Which just brings me back to those pictures that we were looking at, what, last week of Square's net profit being technically like down by, I think, like three, $3 million dollars or something. I don't get all the doom posting about Shadowbringers and Endwalker. I just want to see a show of hands. Who here has been playing since the original 1.0 Final Fantasy IV? Oh, you're here, you're Yay, we have some lucky Thank players.、You. I wish we could go try 1.0.、Oh, I know it's terrible, it's but I wish we could like, experience it. かなりね厳しい 1.0 のローンチでしたけど本当にここまで信じてプレイをしてくださって改めてありがとうございます。あいや、we did start out really rough with the original 1.0 version、but I'm so glad that you believed in us and you continued to stick with us。so thank you again。ではここからはちょっと各エクスパンションごとにどんな内容だったか皆さんと一緒に振り返っていきたいと思います。So, from here, I'd like to talk about the different expansions that were released and what we went through with each one.、Hey, ま、Have his word still the best. So, first is A Realm Reborn when we sort of rebuilt Final Fantasy XIV. Um, so, when we first、um, rebuilt 14, of course, I'm sure a lot of you may remember, but it's great that we were able to release the game, but with the server troubles and login issues, you know, you see that all too familiar pop up dialogue. I know, I'm sure nobody wants to see that again. Wait, so did they.、Uh, Glacy, I don't know how long you've been playing.、Um, I know you're PlayStation. I didn't know they, all, they had to suspend cells like they did with Endwalker. Back when A Realm Reborn first dropped. I, mean, I guess it makes sense. Because Final Fantasy is a huge IP. And if, if it tanked that hard and then they came back and relaunched it, and their relaunch was this big, like, hey, we fixed all the problems. Give it another shot, guys. I would assume the floodgates were a bit decimated.、It、didn't play back then, but yeah, they did. That, that said, those of you who tried to log in at the start of Endwalker, I'm sure the numbers in that error dialogue w a s much higher, maybe three times the number. <laughs> <laughs> I was there. But with at Dawn Trail, we have increased the server. God, yeah, it was a so nightmare. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that this dialogue won't pop up for you guys. Oh, it will. Oh, it will. 
Never forget the 2000 <laughs> It was so bad. And of course, with A Realm Reborn, I'm sure you will have some memorable encounters, including Titan, which was very challenging. I never fought pre patch Titan. Uh, the challenge of Titan was quite quite tough. So with his landslide, we may have lost about 300,000 registered accounts. <laughs> <laughs> Dark light attire or uh, the armor series. Oh, remember? Yeah. Hi. Ma, so na no ga atte. Tsuzuite wa soten no ishigaru ni utsurimashita. Okay, and with that, uh, we released our first expansion, Heaven's Word. Best expansion. Shadowbringers is good, but Heaven's Word. Extremely good foundation. So with a Heaven's Word, we tried to look at the difficulty level of the different battles, encounters, dungeons. So uh, with the raids, uh, we incorporated the normal and savage tiers. I wonder if you're going to talk about his comments a few weeks ago about making FF too easy recently. I hope they do. So Heaven's Word was a lot of learning for us. Um, we received a lot of feedback after the release of A Realm Reborn, and some of it was, oh, isn't the raid just a little too easy to get through? <laughs> And so we were like, okay, fine, we get it. It was, it was a little bit easy. So we adjusted it. We adjusted the difficulty level, and now everybody was saying, no, it's too hard. You did it too far. <laughs> But um, with the feedback received, that is when we reviewed the job mechanics again and the different uh, abilities that were available and made adjustments accordingly. And of course, um, we were able to hold our very first fan festival this year. I've never seen footage of the first fan fest. I don't know how small or big it was. By the way, with the first fan festival, um, did any of you attend a, the very first Las Vegas fan festival? May I see a show of hands? Thanks. Oh, oh you Thank you. Thank you. This was um, the keynote presentation where I was the most presentation where I was the most nervous. <laughs> I'm curious to go if there's footage of it. Next, we release the Stormblood expression. Well, there has to be, obviously. Stormblood's okay. Okay. And of course, um, we continue to receive feedback, and we um, we were able to look to that to adjust uh, the different job mechanics as well as the battle mechanics. Intro of Mahjong. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest thing they ever added. And of course, um, we try to diversify our content as well, uh, including uh, large scale multiplayer content like Eureka. I think some of you are still enjoying that content. Um, I still need to do Eureka! So not only did we sort of expand on the difficulty... I'm wrapping up Boja. I need to finish your or start Eureka. Yeah, 
you know, and when we were talking about Eureka back at the time in like a live letter, and we looked at the chat, and a lot of people were going Z Z Z Z Z Z, no more Eureka. You can't listen to Twitch chat. But that said, because we took these risks and took on these challenges, that's why we were able to bring such variety of content. I already finished the Eureka story, just got to finish my relic. I just recently wrapped up uh, Delabrum, the what's it called Delabrum Regalier whatever it's called hold on it's what is it called uh, shoot it's a it's a dungeon right no what is that what is Delabrum it's not a dungeon what is that I forget where Delabrum even is because it's Shadowbringers I don't remember if it's a trial or a dungeon can you even queue for it in Duty Finder? You can't, can you? Like, it's its own thing, right? That doesn't make any sense, though. You have to be able to queue for it. So, no spoilers. I don't remember where Delibrum even is. Whatever. I, I, I just recently finished up the Boja 8-man or 24-man raid that you do. Like I recently finished that up. But yeah, I don't even know where it is. I I don't I don't think I can like find it. Not in the duty finder anyway. Cuz it's a party finder thing, right? Like Whatever. So, what do you mean by no spoilers by the way, Leo? I might be misunderstanding. Second best expansion. We still got to do our tier list. You weren't spoiled yet? Not yet! <laughs> Man, Shadowbringers is so good. I can't wait for New Game Plus. New Game Plus is going to be so much fun. I'm so stoked. And so with this expansion, we kind of focused on the story and the RPG aspect of it and trying to blend together the narrative into some of the combat that you encountered. And we feel that we were able to start reaching that sort of culmination point as of Shadowbringers. RPG And I think because of your help, we were able to grow as an RPG as well. で、この辺りからどんどん本当に多くのプレイヤーの皆さんがファイナルファンタジー and of course, in, at this timing, there were more and more players joining Final Fantasy XIV, and we realized that there are different needs for different players, and so that's when we started looking at accommodating for even more variety of content. Man. I joined... Right, wow, just blowing right past Shadowbreaker. And with all that, it connected into Endwalker. I was going to say, I joined like right at the end of Shadowbreaker's little arc. It's a weird time to join. ですが、え、節目ということで、え、1回目のストーリーフィナーレを目指すという形で皆さんに本当に物語と体験をお届けしてまいりました。and of course, with Final Fantasy XIV, we are an MMORPG, which doesn't technically end per se, um, but we tried to bring a sort of finale uh, to a story arc at this time. I mean, it felt like an ending, I'm going to be honest. I could walk away from FF. ソロコンテンツ、それからソロでプレイすること、ま、少人数で遊べると、いったあたりのシステム開発に、とにかく注力してきたタイミングでもあります。And of course, we have a lot of people um, who enjoyed the story and 
thankfully we had some really great acclaim about our story uh, being very robust for an RPG and a lot of people were able to join Final Fantasy 14 and with this expansion we kind of focused in on solo content uh, those that can be enjoyed with either one person or a small group of people え、and so, of course, uh, we implemented the duty support system so that players who want to enjoy the story and the encounters that uh, are associated with it um, can go into these different dungeons by yourself. And we were able to backtrack and support uh, content or duty support from ARR all the way to Endwalker. I actually hope they take an inverse approach with Dontrell or maybe whatever's after Dontrell. And I, I, I like the... I like the single player option for these things. I personally think trusts are awful. I don't like them. I, I don't find them fun. If I wanted to play a single player game, I would not be playing an MMO. But I, I, I find them an interesting option that I personally find awful for me. For other people, they're probably not like awful for, obviously. But... Whenever he said that we focused on a solo player experience, it, the, my instant thought is, well, there's no part of this game that actually lets the players stop, breathe, and form a bond with each other when they're out in the world just doing things. Which comes back to, and I'm not going to go into my giant spiel about this, that's for a YouTube video probably, but it comes back to every extracurricular job in this game, or, or class, whatever you want to call them, is it's a race to clear the node, get what you need, move to another node. You don't have time to talk and chat and just kind of hang out and meet people and form a, a bond with them over whatever it is you're doing. Like you can in RuneScape and RuneScape, you, you take four minutes to chop down a tree or fish and you have time to sit there and hang out and talk to people and actually form a relationship I feel like FF is missing that desperately. I'd like for them to focus on removing some of that FOMO fluff is what I'll call it with how crafting and gathering and everything works because the only way that you can talk to people in this game is is there is the five minutes you have in Duty Finder or you have honestly when you're crafting but nobody crafts at like a dedicated location really to talk to anybody the only place where i've seen people dedicatedly craft where you know you can hang out is in the middle of the firmament when you're in in that area i forget what it's called but where where the interest to diadem is which i think is just the firmament it's it's also and i can't show this on screen in runescape we i showed you guys this last time I'm not going to pull up RuneScape again to show it to you all because that would be a, a bit reduct not reductive, redundant. Um, RuneScape has something that I feel like every MMO needs. I think every single MMO needs... <laughs> I don't know if I should show this one. This one's a bad example. Because these are all... Hold on. Let me make sure there's no gamer words in this. This is an old screenshot. Okay. Sure, I can show this one. So, every game, or every MMO, I think, would benefit from this. And granted, I'm about to show a screenshot that's probably going to make everybody go, Oh, fuck no. <clears throat> no, don't add this. Really, Windows? You said you took the screenshot and then you just deleted it. And okay, can I show the screenshot? Are, are you gonna let me? See? Okay. Basically, text bubbles above heads. Buying girlfriend. Be, no, literally, I ignore the text like itself. Like ignore the contents here of people spamming. Like, hey, I'm selling things. The important part is 
Oh no, not screenshot shenanigans. It's scary when Windows a screenshot doesn't work. I I downloaded a program called Greenshot and I'm trying to figure out a good way to just take a picture or a picture. <laughs> take a screenshot, take a Polaroid with Greenshot and then throw it up in OBS. I digress though. Speech bubbles above heads is such a good feature and I can't show it on stream. And like while I don't use it, there is a mod for FF14 that I have seen that adds speech bubbles above the heads of other users. And it's really clean. It's not overwhelming. It only does it if they're showing or if there's talking and say chat. But that extra extra little branch to connect a player visually to another player, even if they don't even know who they are yet in the world is so important in my mind for MMOs. Because if it's just a simple text chat in the bottom left corner, I'm any FF players here will uh, probably agree with me on this. The amount of people that don't read their goddamn chat in dungeons and you're going, tank, tank, stance, please. Healer, thing, please. DPS, please do this. And they don't read it. And they just keep fucking up and they're dragging the whole party down. And then they leave. And you know they didn't see it. And they're not going to see it. And now they're going to go to the dungeon again. Or the raid again. Or the trial again. And make the same mistakes. Because they're not looking at their, their little text thing in the bottom left corner. I, I think that would be very nice. But I, I, I don't expect FF to ever introduce anything like that. Just out of... Honestly, not wanting to deal with the spam that it creates and not wanting to deal with possible exposure to foul language, which I think is asinine in my opinion because the player base for this game skews to like 30-year-olds anyway. It's not a bunch of children. Yo, what are you crafting? Some random raptor skin gloves, said no one ever. I would say it if someone asked me. I make people cookies and shit and I hand them out. But hi, Evie. Welcome in. How's your day going? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it is kind of curious because even if this is an online game where typically it's uh, necessary for people to work with other players to play, there are certain people who hesitate because they don't want that sort of interaction with other players. And so that's why they didn't try Final Fantasy XIV. And we call those people cowards and we shun them and shame them. If the bubbles would stay to say chat, I think it would be fine because most of the spam is said on shout chat, at least from what I see. It is now. As a RuneScape player, I'm going to tell you the moment we got we get speech bubbles, if they ever did, and I say that as an open-ended if we ever do because FF14 has a problem. If you hang around the community long enough, like deep enough in the community, you will find out that Slash so many... GF. <laughs> You will find that so many people get banned for using accessibility mods that make the OGCD timer larger or make buffs larger or debuffs larger or party list more readable. They'll get banned for that. And then literally six months later, they will add that into the game as an accessibility option. And they won't unban the people that got fucked over who were trying to play the game in the first place, which I'm going to be honest, really fucking scummy. It's the one thing that I'm going to actually not hesitate in calling out the handling of when it comes to the... I, I don't know if the FF team themselves handle bans or if that's a Square Enix thing. It doesn't... I, I have no idea. So I'm not going to jump the gun and go, fuck the FF team for this thing. But it is a problem that FF has, and it's really annoying to see people get banned for accessibility mods, and then they add in those mods, and then they don't get unbanned when that's the only mod they were using or the only mod that was visible at the time, and it's the reason they were banned. Because if it's a bannable thing, why are you stealing it and adding it to your game anyway? 
and leaving them unbanned. Like unban the people that you you banned for it. I I feel like it would just be doing right by the person that got banned, but that's just me. Tada. 今回こういったソロ対応とかをやってくることによってじゃあ遊んでみようかなそしてゲームを訪れてくださって皆さんの本当に温かく Wait, did I even finish what I was going to say about the bubbles? I don't think I did. As a RuneScape player, yes, it's, it's, tie, it's, it's relegated to Shout Chat for now because Shout Chat gets the most people. But with Speech Bubbles, Say Chat will get the most people because Say Chat would now be the thing that you have to see if you're near someone. So, honestly, Limsa and parts of Gridania. And parts of Ulda would turn into the grand exchange from RuneScape, which to like show what the hell I'm talking about, all I need to do is pull up the image that I just had a second ago. And it is, yeah, if you want Limsa to become this, <laughs> where every single person is, is advertising things to buy and sell, this is how you get it. So it is a double edged sword. It is a situation where it's out in the middle of, you know, Coerce's Western Highlands or Thanalan or Ultima Thule, even. I would love speech bubbles. I would love speech bubbles out in the middle of the world itself, but having them disabled in the hub cities near market boards and things might be a good idea. Like that might be a good idea to have them disabled in sanctuary, but not enabled elsewhere, or not disabled elsewhere. I know that's it, it's not a proper solution, but I don't think there's a proper fix for that behavior. It's just it's something people will do. Hi, community. No, 力に触れてどんどん光の戦士たち増えてそして育っていってるのを実感します。That said, um, with content uh, duty support, um, of course, that also helped. But then the community welcomed these new peoples and they were able to support them through their growth. And I think we were able to grow in numbers、uh, of our Warrior of Light. So I think that's also a, a great、um, step forward as well. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. So, with all that said, now we're striving for the future, which leads us to our next expansion. As much as I like Heaven's Word, and as much as I love Endwalker, I love Endwalker's logo because, goddamn, you think it's the brand that's. That's you know holding Zodiac down on the moon. It's not. That's the sh- that's the starship. That's the Ragnarok. It totally is. It's got the little engine port in the back, and the moon turns into a fucking Ultima Thule. The, the, this logo is the most insane shit. Narratively, once you realize that it shows you going to the moon and then going to Ultima Thule, it's so fucking cool. I love this logo. This logo is the best logo. Narratively. Stormblood's logo is just.、Mwah. I love Stormblood's logo. It's simple. It's, it's got energy to it. It's, it's grounded. It, it's got the, the little like tapestry that's shredded and waving in the, in the wind of rebellion.、Like, it's so cool. I love Stormblood's logo. A Rome Reborn and Shadowbringers and Heaven's Word are, I'm going to be honest, they're kind of boring. I don't know what the fuck this is. It looks like a magic mushroom cloud. This, looks, this is just a dragon. And this is a, an edgy guy with a, a long, like, black iron sword. <laughs> these three are just boring. With these five cards, I summon Exodia. <laughs> I came across that Ray Navarez clip with the fastest Exodia summon. I don't know if anybody's seen that. Let me see if we can find it really quick. Just to give people context. Is it Navarez? Narvez. Have I been saying his name wrong this whole time? I think I've been saying his, his name wrong this whole time. <laughs>、uh, I don't even know what I would search to find this. 
I don't know what I would search to. If anyone knows what I'm talking about. Wait, is it this? Hold on. Did I just find it? Oh my god, it okay. Okay. This is the right video. Yo, this is <laughs> I think this is the right video. <laughs> this shit killed me. I believe it's this one. Was I beat Pegasus? So now I'm in the battle city. And uh, I'm gonna beat the shit out of this fucker right here. It's always better to go second because you can't attack on your first turn. All right, fucking, that's great. <laughs> what? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Hi, Umfi. Don't do that. Don't do that. That word is relegated to bothering Shad. We established that last night. <laughs> that Yu-Gi-Oh clip kills me. I don't think that's Ray. I think that's Michael from Rooster Teeth. It's so fucking funny, though. I love that clip so much. <laughs> Hi, though, Vivi. Welcome in. Why is it so tiny? Oh, I guess it's because it's on a big screen. Man, I'm, I'm so stoked. Final Fantasy XIV is So, uh, on the Final Fantasy XIV team, internally, we call this um, 7.0. Summer 2024. We say summer 2024. Oi, release date not and I know people are saying, well, when, when are we going to find out about the release date? Uh, don't worry, we will talk about it just later in the presentation. <laughs> okay, so we're getting like a proper release date too, not just the pre-order and early access. ドントレイルから、え、さらにこの先10年間また色んなチャレンジを皆さんと一緒にしていこうと思います。あ、そう、of so, one of the first challenges we want to take on for the next 10 years is going to be this. え、これまでま、6.0、6.X so, of course, throughout um, 6.0 and Walker, through the 6.x patch series, we were making different preparations to welcome in those more casual leaning players or people who wanted to enjoy con content by themselves solo. So, with Dawn Trail, we want to aim for uh, evolving as an MMORPG. So, um, I would like to go through what we're thinking about specifically um, in a sort of like an overview of our concept. Um, so, of course, we would like to focus in on multiplayer aspect uh, as one of those things. Oh, yes, please. So with that, we would like to refine or to tackle. I'm, I'm going to call it now. I'm going to throw a Hail Mary. I don't care if I'm wrong. We're going to get like a 48 man raid at some point, like a, like a proper main, like, not like, I know there are big things that exist now, but like a proper mainline 48 player raid of some sort. That's just, everyone has to go through <laughs> That would be fun. I would love a big giant. It, it, so many things can go wrong moment in this game that everybody gets to go through. I think that'd be fun. There's an early access day too. Yeah, yeah. The only thing I did see because I skipped forward on the scrubber bar, uh, or like this morning 
was the early access date and I saw the other thing. I didn't in the uh, pre-order date. I didn't click play on those. I just jumped to them and saw two dates. That's all I know. So I don't know what the actual date is if they have it. On more uh, large scale duties. I heard Boja. So content that kind of are in the same vein of Eureka or Bosnia is going to be in the works. It's pronounced Bosnia? Oh, I've been saying that wrong. まあ、この辺りもちろんまだ好評してないコンテンツというのも開発、え、スタートしてたりはするんですが、とにかくファイナルファンタジー<笑> And so there are lots of content we're trying to develop right now, some of them that may not be mentioned here today in today's presentation, but we understand that there are a lot of different values that people hold um, as they are playing Final Fantasy XIV. So we want to also focus in on large-scale content, multiplayer content, um, as we go through um, 7.1 and 2 and beyond. まあ、もちろんそのロックテン of course, we're not neglecting the solo or smaller scale content like the variant dungeons. We will continue to update that. Um, and so it's going to be more in parallel. We're going to have the smaller scale content versus the, the large um, participating content as well. And one another important element that I want to cover is this. So of course, a more fulfilling gaming experience is how we worded it, but we want to kind of focus in on this as well. Just fix the inventory system. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> So, for example, uh, this is one of the many feedback that we have received um, in, that kind of relates to that fulfilling gaming experience. For example, the target circle of your enemy, the hitbox, is ridiculously large at this point. <laughs> なんだろう、こう、経験が積みやすいから楽ではあるんですけど、実際にちょっと自分でプレイしてても眠くなってくるなっていうのがあったりしてます、今。and in terms of battle mechanics, um, they tend to be very similar content to content. And some people might feel that it's very repetitive, feels like a pattern almost. And of course, it might help if you are trying to build your like gameplay experience and try to get a, a hang of it. But for some players, me included, I kind of get sleepy because it, it kind of gets routine and mundane. Okay, cool. He's actually uh, hopefully going to talk about how easy some of the like default content expectations have been. Add dieable options for all clothing. Uh, they, they are adding a second die channel to a lot of clothing. Granted, it's still going to be slightly restrictive, but they are expanding the die system, which I would like to further repeat for the 80th time Die bag is going to be needed. I'm sorry, but if you're adding another reason to carry more die around on you, we're going to need a fucking die bag. One small step, give us a tackle box. Yeah. Yeah, that would be nice. Right now, we have a nice little inventory mirror that lets us left click on items. That's that's fun. Well, <laughs> ちょっと疲れてると眠くなってきたなってなるんでもうちょっとエキサイトメントを高めていきたいと思います you know, we rarely fall asleep when we're playing games, if we're really into it, but then sometimes when I get too tired, it's like, oh, okay, I'm gonna... Um. So, <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can spice it up a little, bring the excitement back. Uh, that said, I do want to advise you. 
やばい吉田また難易度を上げようとしてるって思う方たくさんいらっしゃいます。Uh, when I talk about something like this, I know some people might get a knee jerk reaction of, oh no, Yoshida is going to make everything difficult again. t h a guy was so loud in the front row. Listen, you can hear someone go, Evil Liz. <laughs> やばい、吉田また難易度を上げようとしてるって思う方たくさんいらっしゃいます。When I talk about something like this, I know some people might get a knee jerk reaction of, oh no, Yoshida is gonna make everything difficult again. エボリスレイツ have good difficulty. もっともっと興奮してもらうためにもっともっと新しいギミックもっともっと新しいギミックオリジナリティのあるものっていうのを作っていきたいとそういう意思表明だと思ってください And so for the most part we're not trying to trouble people we are just we're trying not to make your lives difficult it's just we want to bring a little bit more uniqueness something that is new and original into these battles so、um, rest assured <laughs> It better not be a, a, another boss. I'm sorry, every boss in six. I'm okay. 6.0's presentation and story is cool. Every single goddamn fight has bone stacks that feel like the most useless thing that I've encountered so far. I do not know the point of Golbez's bone stacks. <laughs> bone stacks. No. no, I don't think I will. No, take them away. I don't like them. Nice to hear them share how they're thinking of moving forward. Oh, yeah, no. The FF team's always super transparent, and it's nice to see. But I, I'm not a fan of the 6.0 mechanic of. Ooh. Ooh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna slap a Vuln stack on you. There's a, there's, a, there's a nice little sticker for you. Oh, oh here's another one. Oh, you got five of them. You get another one, you get a free week here. It's like, what, what's gonna happen to me, though? And nothing happens to you. Oh, I take more damage. Is that, is that. Is that, a, is that like a threat? Is that like a real threat? Like, is it? I don't understand the point of Vuln, sta Vuln stacks. I keep saying Vuln snacks. Vuln stacks in 6.0 plus content or 6.1 plus content. The undraft. Hi. It didn't say new, so I assume you've been here before, but hi, welcome in. I have not heard RAR played in a minute. Never deleting that one, by the way. Anytime it comes up, we're never getting rid of that one. Anytime we have to delete a sound, sound alert, that one's going to stay forever. I like that one. It makes me think of anime. Hope your week's going well, though. まあ、あのちょっと日本語なので難しいかもしれないですけど、もう少しプレイヤーの皆さん一人一人が工夫する余地、自分だからこれができたみたいな遊び応えっていうところをちゃんと作っていきたいというふうに思ってます。So, in the Japanese word, there's this word, kuhu,、um, which loosely translates to kind of thinking with your own mind and kind of figuring, out, figuring it out. So, I think we want to encourage players to build your own strategies, kind of talk to each other and your party to strategize and kind of encourage that kind of gameplay also.、Hey, this is That'd be nice. Well, we're going to be able to do a l o なんだろうリスクも取りながらやっていこうと思うので、まあ、時折失敗して、ね、皆さんに怒られることもあるかもしれませんがだんだん慣れてきてしまった14を今一度エキサイトを持って楽しめるように、えー、さらに拡大させていこうというのが当面の目的に目標になります。And so, of course, we would love to take challenges. I would like for my developers to be able to take on challenges, take risks in creating their content. And of course, we may screw up. We may have a misstep, and we might be up here apologizing to our players once again. But,、um, you know, we don't want things to be mundane. We want you guys to be excited as you play Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> And I'm sure with this kind of talk, it might bring, beg the question like, well, so what's going to happen to the different jobs and their mechanics? Positionals are never coming back, guys. Get that out of your heads now. Monk is going to lose. What's that one move?、Because、Northern face? Sort of Shoot, hold on, what's it called? That move called? Not, we don't to... Perfect North? 
upset everything again. We want to just continue updating the different jobs and kind of add on to what we already have set up throughout the 7.0 and 7.x series. True North. That's what it's called. Perfect balance was the other move. God, I haven't played Monk in forever. So, of course, we're going to be focusing in on the content itself and the encounters throughout um, 7.1, 2, and 3 to bring back that sort of excitement. Okay. Stormblood has some sick fights. Or not, wait. Not Stormblood. So we talked yeah. about how wait. We're going Am I fucking stupid? Hold on. What did he just say? I need to hear that again. So, of course, we're going to be focusing in on the content itself and the encounters throughout um, 7.1, 2, and 3 to bring back that sort of... Ex wow, I hallucinated everything that was just said there. I, th <laughs> I, thought, he I thought he said we're going to be focusing on co how the content was structured <laughs> back in like 2.2. <laughs> okay, Whew, I zoned out. Samurai has True North as well. Nobody uses True North, but Sam, what are you talking about? It does. You're first of all, I don't believe you. You're a liar. I don't believe you. I'm calling you out. What do you mean it has True North? It literally does not have True North. What are you talking about? Oh, it does. What's the point? What is the point of this? What? There's no positionals for Sam anymore. What's the point of this? Like, okay, fine. Gecko apparently has the... the what? A, just bring back positionals. They feel like they don't matter. Why, why does this matter? Why does 120 versus 170 matter in normal content? I know the, uh, the, the answer. Well, it's not for normal content. It's for when you're doing, doing like unreals or savages. And you need all the DPS you can. I get that. I understand that. Maybe I just need to do savages then. But my point is still I, these things should, the feature should be useful in standard combat. You, you literally can't see what I was just talking about because my big ass fucking head was in the way. There you go. Right there. Right there. The potency thing. Everything I just said. Right there. <laughs> my big ass fucking head's in the way. Excitement. まあ、遊び応えとかチャレンジ増やすのいいけど、なんかちょっとメリットもうちょっとくれよっていう、お声あると思います。And so we talked about how we're going to bring back excitement to the content itself, but you know, well, what is it? What's in it for me?え、我々今取り組んでいるのがプレイヤーの皆さんにえ獲得していただくリワードというものを。What does improved rewards mean? The more inventory space?作り始めてます。so with that we are looking into sort of improving this rewards uh, so that um, yeah we can sort of bolster that aspect of it まあ、これまでARRからここに至るまでなかなかこの え、and so with the different expansions throughout um, since we released ARR up to this point, we were unable to increase the number of rewards per patch that we give um, in terms of gear or mounts. And so looking to the future and just considering how wide and broad we have become with the different content that we offer, um, we would like to look into increasing the amount of rewards that we are providing our players. Hey. Customizable chocobo music win though. Um, so the plans are in place. So our goal is that by patch 7.3-ish, um, we would have maybe 1.5 times more compared to current. 
So, an extra few mounts or minions? I assume this extends out to armor too. So, with your subscriptions and, and just use, continuing to stay with us, we have、um, collected from you. So, we want to give back. So, we want to continue looking into things like this. さあそれらのスタートとなるドーントレイルこの内容まあ皆さんもうご存知だとは思うんですけど、oh really oh okay. <笑> like, I, I can, I can the, the、okay. はい、ありがとうございます。This is the worst. What do you mean? I was trying to hold it. I don't want to take that risk. I'll be right back. Oh, I don't have my like, PP break text on the screen. I used it. What is this? No, that's the thing. That's the death counter. Shit. Uh. <laughs> that's unhealthy for you. PP break. All right, be right back. Sometimes it leads to very little, and it seems like it's not worth it. And you wonder why you waited so long for something so disappointing. Should I just leave the presentation running like Hassan does? Also, we're back. I did grab a drink and a snack. <laughs> All right, back to listen to the Yoshi P. Tell us about how cool Don Trail is going to be so we can give him more money. So, Dawn Trail,、um, I know we've announced many、uh, information, but I just wanted to do a very quick recap of what we've already talked about. Of course, two new jobs Viper and Pictomancer.、Mm -hmm. Viper information? I'm counting any, any animated video as a trailer. And level cap will be increased to level 100, which is sort of a mile to go. It's been 84 years. You guys are fine. That said, we also have to start looking into what should we do for 8.0.、Oh. Do we raise it just another 10 levels, 20 levels, 50 levels? Or do we just reset everything and go back to 50? <laughs> 
That'd be cool. I'd take a big squish. Um, that said, um, jokes aside, we are looking into a long term plan. That's why we're trying to also look at what would it look like 10 years, 20 years from now. Oh, thank you. え、そして改めてですね、Xboxファンの皆さんに大変お待たせしましたが、Xboxでもつい先日ですね、え、正式ローンチをすることができました。And of course, um Xbox players, thank you so much for your patience. We were able to release the Xbox version of Final Fantasy 14. え、さらに and of course, we can't forget the new areas, new threats, new dungeons we have prepared for you. え、当然新しいレイドも始まりますし、え、先ほどお話したように、え、プレイヤーみんなで遊ぶというコンセプトでさらにね、コスモエクスプローラーちょっと惑星をね、皆さんで and so of course we have the new raid that's going to be coming um, and then as for the no idea what this new raid is related to participate would be the cosmic explorer where you're on a planet trying to explore and develop so um, I think we have our systems um, kind of drafted in place and so we are getting ready for production on that Cosmic, yeah, cosmic exploration should be cool. Could be like Ragnarok Online, where you hit such a high level, you get asked to reset your class, and become a super novice. I'd be fine with a prestige system. What would that? What would that mean, though? <laughs> I'm trying to find the lizard guy. Like I saw him. They're not showing the lizard boy anymore. I don't know what happened to him, and he's not in my OBS overlay. I think I deleted him. He's got to be in my download folder somewhere, but this thing is is a bit of a mess. I don't think I would be able to find him. So he might just be God. And I don't expect anyone to know what I'm talking about because it was a random character I grabbed a random screenshot of. Yeah, I think he's gone. He's not in my download folder. <laughs> Nor if he is, he's not easily findable. I think he's gone. Rest in peace, lizard guy. Hey, so <笑><笑><笑><笑> Um, so, of course, with a lot of challenges that we're taking for the new Final Fantasy XIV expansion, not 16, 7.0. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, there's the... Okay. So that's the early access. Oh, shit. How did I miss that? Okay. I, I clicked right where that date was and did not see release. Okay. July 2nd. Cool. Well, we'll be streaming this day. What day is this? This is this is June twenty eighth. Oh, it's a fucking Friday. All right. Well, uh, no matter what we have scheduled, the twenty eighth to like the thirtieth is going to be nothing but FF fourteen. So, <laughs> putting PTO in that week. The small mumble Joss child stands up. Yeah, 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 that one. That random little lizard thing. Sella has the day in the in the parentheses. Well, I didn't see that. They put the days next to the date. If I could zoom in easily on OBS, I'd zoom in for you guys. And then ask you to point out where. But I can't. え、大変長らくお待たせいたしましたが
ファイナルファンタジー14、えー、ドントレイル6月28日アーリーアクセススタートそして7月2日正式発売 Man, don't have cloud data centers, no、one's getting on the, on the release day. 最後のね開発の追い込みをやってるところです Uh, so, thank you so much for your patience. I know we waited for a long time to announce this, but、uh, we are happy to say that we are planning to start early access on June 28th and、uh, official release on July 2nd, and we're making our final adjustments on those. So, just playing Blue's Clues? Maybe I do it on purpose to make people angrily comment and chat. Um, so, with this early access start date,、um, we actually wanted to start it a week earlier. Elden Ring DLC. <laughs> <laughs> We figured everybody would be interested in playing the Elden Ring DLC. That's funny. That's fucking funny. I'll give you one week. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I was captivated by this unit of a human being in the center right here. <laughs> the bit rate did not help. It just looked like somebody's big head and a, like a cowboy hat or something. <laughs> the bit rate's not helping a lot of these people. This, this woman looks like she's photoshopped in. This looks like bad cropping on an image. l a m a u i s so considerate. That's funny that, he <laughs> that he's letting it. I, I wonder how that went inside. Because if they were targeting the week prior, I, I would love to see the immediate reaction in, in Yoshi P's head the moment FromSoft dropped the release date. Like, right, whenever they came out, we're like, yeah, it's coming out.、Uh, when was the date for this? It was the 7th and then the 28th. It was like, it's coming out on the, on, the, on the 23rd or whatever the date is. I really, really, really wanted, would love to see that. Reen at the bottom? Where? At the bottom? I don't, I don't see Reen. Hold on. I see c r y l holding glow sticks. Is that Reen? The outfit doesn't look like Reen. Like the hair does. The outfit doesn't, though. What outfit is that? I only know her in the, the, what's it called? The Oracle like, dress or whatever. Probably because he wants to play the DLC too. Yeah. Yeah. No, it might be that too. That's why. さあでは、えー、リリース日それからアーリーアクセスの日付を発表したのでちょっとコレクターズエディションを紹介させていただきます。Um, so because we have re-、uh, discussed the release date,、um, I would like to touch upon the collector's edition. So, if we could have the.、Um, we want to show the content of what the physical collector's edition entails. I like that the cart is the most basic utility cart that they wheeled this out on. It's not a specialty thing, it's just the utility cart that they had in the back. I love that. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if anybody heard that guy go, That's my boy!
、えー、まずコレクターズエディション、まあ、ここに全部物理でね、えー、持ってきたんですけど、今回、えー、フィギュアがまたついてます、えー、今回、バイパーの、えー、光の戦士。えー、ハイクオリティフィギュアになっております。Okay, so、Get the camera in close. I'll judge it. Physical collector's edition. As you can see, we have our high quality Viper figure. Is it? Oh, I can't go frame by frame on Twitch. Twitch, you suck. えー、そして冒険には欠かせない。Ooh, a cloth map.、えー、Fuck yeah. Final Fantasy XIV、ね、yes, we can't forget、Ooh. our map. Uh, cloth, too. That's nice.、えー、Fuck the figure, I want that.、ね、Hold on. Let me neatly put this away. えー、そして、えー、光の戦士たちが冒険でね使ってる愛用の機構録を今回ね物理アイテムとして作ってみました。Okay, next is the unending journal, unending journey as a journal form. Sorry. でまあこちらね当然中身皆さんで埋めてってください。So of course it is literally a journal, so、cool. um, you can note down、um, your adventures in this book. That's cool. えー、そして続いてがですねこちら何かというとあのちょっと古風な、えー、ペン入れになってます。So this, um, actually, uh, sort of like、かなりこだわってね作りましたので、まあ、冒険者感というのを大事にしながら作ってます。Um, but yeah, we were really、uh, meticulous about the design of this pen case,、um, kind of、uh, replicating that feeling of an adventurer taking his sort of writing utensils and storing it into this kind of envelope.、Uh, で、えー、まあこう巻いてですよ。You can roll it up. 巻いてですよ。And roll it up. まあこれでこう。And it has a string that you can close it with. まあ、なのでペンだけじゃなくてねいろんなものをあの収納してねこうバッグに持ち運びやすいようになってます。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうでアマノ先生のね最新駆け下ろしのドントレールのとこの特製特装ボックスついてきます。Of course, we haven't forgotten the decorative art box featuring the wonderful artwork. Yeah, keep flashing the camera. Mr. Yoshi Takahama. はい、というわけでちょっとコレクターズエディションのこ今回物理アイテムですねご紹介しました。ちょっと待ってね。I L 上げる。Is that everything that comes with? So these are the physical、um, okay. components of the collector's edition. Sorry, let me put my accessories back on to get my eye level up. <laughs> okay. さあさあさあじゃあまあ。コレクターズエディションがねこんな感じになってます。This is our collector's edition. Man, I just want the map. That I have such low ex is such low expectations when it comes to video game figures. I don't think I've ever seen a figure that came in a box set that even blew me away remotely, except for maybe the Master Chief helmet, but that was that was different. If you could please consider pre-ordering this, but yeah, your consideration would be definitely appreciated. What company are they using to do the? ちょっと聞いてるからちなみに ARR から全部のコレクターズエディション持ってるぞっていう方いらっしゃいますか Just out of curiosity,、um, who here has collected all of the collector's editions since ARR? すごい、wow. ありがとうございます Oh my gosh Thanks <笑><笑><笑>あの面白いのがね、あのスクエニのスタッフも手を挙げてるのがちょっと面白い。I just noticed that some of our Square Enix staff also raised their hands, <笑> which is very interesting. <笑>個人個人的に買ってくれてありがとうね。Thank you so much for your purchase. <笑>さあここまでちょっと物理、えー、アイテムの紹介をしましたので、ここからは、えー、デジタルの。
コレクターズエディションのアイテムをご紹介したいと思います。Okay, so we went over the physical items in the collector's edition. Next, I would like to talk about the digital items. えー、その前に、Mount. それに関係する動画を、ちょっと短いですけど、ご覧いただこうと思います。Um, so in regards, or in relation to that, we brought a short video to show you.、Uh, please roll video. All right, get a big mecca. I need context for this mecca, but all right. That's Ark from FF9. Hi, Aeon, welcome in. I'm gonna let you guys get all nostalgic and excited for this because I don't know who the fuck this is. I don't know anything about these in game items. <laughs> Somebody on their stream just. <laughs> That was not me. <laughs> Whoever's managing their audio feeds,、uh, so yeah, the that was fast.、Um, it's pretty self explanatory. They're on it. Holy the, shit. The digital items that you can receive in the collector's edition is the ARC mount. It's Garnet. No idea who that is. That I want the Jokobo brush, but that's it. えー、そして武器の方は、え、新しく追加となるピクトマンサーの、ま、武器であるフデ。そのチョコボのフデと、あ、もうフデすでに用意してくれてる人いる。Oh, um, so of course, um, with the すごい。完璧、完璧にクルルさんになった。完璧、完璧にクルルさんになった。完璧、完璧にクルルさんになった。完璧、完璧にクルルさんになった。完璧、完璧にクルルさんになった。完璧、完璧にクルルさんになった。
えー、そしてもういいんだと物理はいいんだとマウントアークを早くよこせという方はこのデジタルコレクターズエディションを買っていただければ大丈夫です And if you just want the digital items、um, you don't care about the physical items just give me the arc mount <laughs> then you can go for the digital collector's edition、えー、そして最後スタンダードエディションあの何もついてこないノーマルのパッケージです And then finally, we have our standard edition. This is just the expansion. And so, for those people who are enthused about our collector's edition, I think the standard edition will not really pertain to you. <laughs> さあというわけで、えー、ちょっとね複雑に SKU になっていますがこれら改めて、えー、ウェブサイトの方でも詳細説明されますので、えー、ご確認いただければと思います I am munching Leo I understand it's a bit complicated so we will be having a website set up so that it explains the different lineup so、um, if you wanted to get more details try to listen to, to Yoshi P あと一個注意点ですがファイナルファンタジー14は、えー、からもう一切物理パッケージを作っていないのでえー、お店に行ってもドン取れる売ってないのでご注意ください。And another point of caution, and you may be familiar with this,、uh, since Endwalker, we have not produced a physical disc version of the game or the expansion itself. So、um, please be warned,、um, if you go into like a game retailer, you will not find the standard edition disc there anymore. It's all digital download only. はい、忘れないようにしておいてください。Now bring back floppy disks. We brought back records. Vinyl came back. Bring back floppies. Graphics no update or Okona to you. Tokuni Minasan o k a n k o upgrade to Yukane, his d o s a m o n s h o w something of the Masode. Aratame to Choto s h o k a s a s t a s i So, of course, with the different updates that we're making, including the graphical update,、um, I'm afraid we will have to adjust the system requirements for your platform. Kore Made ni Ohanasi stake ta bubun to. Oh my god, really? Like the moment I try to talk, there's something in my throat. I mean, bumping up to a, to a 2060 or a 5600 isn't too bad. Hey, hold on. How much is that? Hold on. If you can't afford Pokemane's cookies, you can't afford to play FF14. So, a 5600 XT is about $350 to $400. And that's a base 2060, right? Six gigabyte. And a 2060 is about the same price, about $340. Though, I mean, I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm looking at eBay right now, and I can't show this, but $200 bucks for a six gig 2060. I mean, it's not terrible. It's not bad. It's a smaller card, so. 16 gigs of RAM. Hmm. I wonder if they're. Well, yeah, they would be loading. Well, I wonder what they're loading into RAM if they're wanting 16 gigs. 140 gigs for the install. So I'm going to assume FF's going to be around like. 90 to 120 gigs at that point. Not terrible. And an i7 9700 isn't that bad. I mean, I'm on a I'm on a 12700. So you can go back quite a bit and still be fine, probably. But I assume actually this is the regular CPU that they've always had. And then it looks like they crossed out the older and the, the minimum requirements have simply gotten higher on the CPU side. So the CPU may have not changed. So your CPU should still be fine. And you can get by if you just need to upgrade your graphics card. That's not bad. ちょっと一箇所だけ変更をさせていただけると助かります。Which is the singular point on this chart of system requirements? Windows の環境で CPU 必須動作環境の中に Intel Core i7 の6700というふうに表記させていただいてたんですが、ここを7700にちょっと変更させてください
So originally on the Windows platform, the required, the minimum system requirements indicated Intel Core i7-6700 series or higher. Um, we are going to be bumping it up to require the 7700 series. Yeah, so I'm looking on Steam and the, the new recommended is the, or the new minimum is the old recommended if that makes sense so here i can like show you guys and windows really does not like me taking screenshots does it it really doesn't so like here's steams and the old minimum was a 2060 or a 750 which is a really old card. The old recommended was the 970 or the 480, which is now the minimum, the 970 or the 480. So if you're playing recommended now, I mean, you won't need to upgrade. Or if you're playing, yeah, if you're playing recommended now, you won't need to upgrade. You'd probably be fine. CPU maybe, but... Yeah,極端にパフォーマンスが落ちるという非常にそのグラフィックスカードと um, so there are a couple of reasons why we had to bump this up. Um, one is because with some combinations, the CPU and the graphics board um, seems to have seen issues in performance. So um, that's one reason. And then uh, it seems there was an announcement that uh, the 6700 uh, will no longer be supported on the Windows platform. And it was announced uh, last year that that support was ending. So we figured that um, it was better to bump it up uh, so that we'll have a, a supported um, CPU. So I'm hoping that everybody is okay on their machines, but just in okay. case, you might want to double check your CPU. Hey, so she すごいちょっと重要なんですけど、あの、HDD、ハードディスクの容量はできるだけたくさん開けておいてください。and another thing, the, um, let's see, the HDD available disk space. Um, I hope you are able to secure enough space for the game to be downloaded onto your machine. Space is cheap. If you have to be on a, on a hard drive, space is very cheap. ぜひご注意ください。um, with the graphical updates, um, a lot of high-res um, materials will need to be downloaded into the game, and so the patch size, the expansion size, will be quite big, so please be advised. As someone who owns a, a MacBook, this is gibberish to me. I don't... And of course, for those of you who play on the Mac platform, we have updated the requirements on that as well. I don't know um, who's again, playing we will on have Mac. A website available to, uh, reference I know the M1 isn't uh, trash anymore, specs. like the Intel chipsets were. I'd love to see how, how their player count skew is with Mac to Windows. I'm curious. Okay, so we announced the early access and release dates, so let's go into pre-ordering the expansion. And of course, we'd like to talk about the, in, uh, the bonus items that you will receive when you pre-order. As the words of a wise man, I like your funny words, magic man. All right, FF people, who is who's Zinde, who's Zindane? Zidane? Who's Zidane? Who's Zidane? Who is this? So, of course, when you pre-order, these are the in-game items that you would receive. A Zidane minion and then an Azima earring. FF9's main protagonist. Oh, shit! He's got the Tantalus breeches on. Look at that. Why do they always advertise those with Lollafels? And not, like, normal characters. <laughs> Who's Azima? 
Azima? I don't know who Azima is. These earrings are ugly. It's not a Lala. No, I know he's not a Lala. That's not that's how he looks. I know he's not a Lala. I'm saying every time I see the Tantalus in anything official, I never see them like showed off with anything normal. He does telling me that Square is hinting at an FF oh, nine. Sorry, I have to do math in my head. Remake. I mean, I I wouldn't be surprised. I, I, all the FF remakes are on sale right now on Steam. They all of them. If you go to the store, they're all on sale. Every like FF game that they brought over. Eh. Hey. Um, you may have noticed a lot of Final Fantasy IX references here, but the reason is a secret. Oh yeah, they're teasing a remake. They're totally teasing a remake. アーゼマイヤリングに関してはレベル90までモンスターを倒した時の討伐経験値が30%アップしますし。えプレイヤーのジョブのレベルクラスのレベルが上がれば性能も自動的に上がっていくというアイテムになっていますのでレベルに非常に最適になってますあの、um, so of course with the azima earrings um this is similar to the last pre-order bonus but um whenever you defeat an enemy the experience points that you receive um will have a 30 percent boost mm -hmm. and then on um, the stats on the accessory itself will also kind of scale as your player is uh leveling your character so it, it does become quite advantageous when you're trying to level your character yeah, this is this is the frame I hit. So of course, um, if you pre-order the expansion, you will have early access. Um, so of course, I do want to caution you because uh, there may be some of you who are purchasing an expansion for the first time with Dawn Trail. Uh, アーリーアクセスの権利がないのでやったー6月28から遊べれって言って予約を忘れてるとみんなこうで、急をスビルディングしてるのに自分だけ7月2日までまたなきゃいけなくなるので注意してくださいね um, so you need to make sure you have pre-ordered the expansion in order to gain early access. So if you don't pre-order, while everybody's going on summer vacation, June 28th, and you realize, wait, I haven't pre-ordered, so you have to wait until the actual release, which is July the 2nd. So um, if you want early access, you might want to pre-order. <laughs> oh, God. oh, God, it's going to be a nightmare. <sighs> And so pre-orders will begin next week. Guess I'm going to pre-order it. How much is it? How much is Don Trail? 9 a.m. PDT. We'll also be pre-ordering. Hey, Double, welcome in. Usually 40 bucks. So, of course, um, the Steam version will be uh, one set time globally, so um, it's on the disclaimer down there at 9 a.m. PDT, but the rest is local time, 9 a.m. Uh, let's see. Hopefully we'll be like in, in uh, the login queue with Savage. Oh, it will be. Hmm? Wonder how many people are going to get desperate and try to go to Dynamus. And of course, the in game bonuses that you receive with pre ordering will be delivered to you via uh, Delivery Moogle as soon as we are able to confirm the pre order. So you are able to access these before the expansion launches. Oh yeah, PSA do not mix and match your versions of the game. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Steam can only play Steam expansions. Windows can only play Windows. Yeah, Steam and Square Enix accounts are completely separate. They're not connected at all. Mix and matching will not work. You will waste your money. Granted, on Steam, you can get a refund. Uh, if you buy from Square, good luck. I don't know. I don't trust their customer service. <laughs> I do not trust Square. Yeah. まあ、ただ、ね、ちょっと不安なのが
ね、予約サイトがダウンしなきゃいいなっていう。The only concern that we have is I hope the pre-order site doesn't crash. <笑><笑>あとこうレターモーグリたちがもう無理くぽう疲れたくぽうってちょっとね遅れる可能性もあるんで。In our poor delivery moguls, they may be like, oh, I'm so tired, くぽう。まあいずれにせよちょっと予約をしていただいた方から順次アイテムすぐにねお届けしてまいりますのでぜひ予約の方よろしくお願いします。That said, we will be delivering these in-game items、um, as we confirm your pre-order, so、um, we would encourage you to do so. はい、さあでは<笑>、えー、1時間にわたっていろいろお話をしてまいりましたが、えー、ドーントレイルのお話はこのようにな。Um, so, yeah, we have about,、uh, we had had about one hour to speak about our new expansion.、No. So, I think that kind of wraps up the discussion about our、Boo! Uh, trailer. Come on,、expansion. I want a trailer.、Yeah. I want something <laughs> new and, and cool. ファイナルファンタジー16の、えー、パネルがございました。That said, I know there was a panel on Final Fantasy XVI just yesterday.、えーパネルを見ていたらですね、えー、Final Fantasy XVI のプロデューサーの No idea how that was. P がですね。<笑> And in that panel, the producer Yoshida. クロスオーバークエストのあの開始日。よしピー発表していいよって言ってくれたんで。mentioned that oh yeah Final Fantasy XIV producer director you're welcome to announce the crossover quest line release day。I'm glad Yoshi P is leading all the way into the he's two different people gimmick that people have come up with in his head or in their heads。The crossover quest line will become available. まあ約一ヶ月ですね。4月入ったらすぐにスタートしますので、ぜひぜひご期待ください。So it will begin as soon as we enter the month of April. So I hope you take a look. まだまだ16 PC 版を楽しみにお待ちくださっている方もいるというふうに思いますので、今回のクロスオーバークエストは16のストーリーの物語の序盤とのクロスオーバーになっているので、極端に。The day after Easter event goes off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just in time for the, the deadline for taxes. なるように、一生懸命14チームと16チーム、力を合わせて作りました。And of course,、um, we understand that、uh, there are players of Final Fantasy、uh, 16 who are looking forward to the PC release. So、um, we don't want to spoil the story for those who are on 14 who are waiting. I got to do taxes still. So the crossover content kind of covers like the、right、there with first、you. part of the game without any spoilers. <laughs> But we have made sure that the rewards are. Fuck! You reminded me. Lost, Get your taxes、so、in. Forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> Stop being lazy. Don't be what I am. Don't be lazy. お知らせできたので、各言語ウェブサイトで特設ページ開いていくと思います。And of course,、um, it, it did take a while, but、um, the team worked really hard and we were able to announce the implementation date. So、um, I believe we do have、um, landing pages, web pages that、uh, give us the details on these. まあ、クエストのスタートがどこなのか。どんな報酬がもらえるのか細かい情報すべてウェブサイトの方に記載されておりますので、ぜひこの講演が終わって、私が do mine today。内容チェックお願いします。That didn't happen。Um, I think you will be able to find details about where the quest goes and things like that. So once the page does open up, it's so close. Already, we encourage you to take a look. さあでは一時間にわたってパックスイーストの会場からお届けしてきた14のステージですが、そろそろ終わりの時間となりました。All right, I think that、um, we are approaching the end of this presentation, actually. これ以上スポイラーで話せない。<笑> no, there's too much spoilers. I can't avoid spoilers, so.、Um. <笑> What did he say? I'm sorry. I only heard the cheers. I was curious to know what that guy was saying. What? What? We are still in the process of making that, though. Sorry. あのまあいよいよ今日。
発売日、えー、アーリーアクセス発表できたので、えー、5月上旬からは世界中を回ったメディアツアー始まるので、<笑>えー、そこから多数の情報を発表できます。That guy was so loud. Oh my god.、Um, so yeah, today was the announcement for the release timing, and so we will be conducting、uh, a media tour towards the beginning of May-ish,、um, and we do plan on revealing more information in the lead-up to Dawn Trail. えー、そして4月には、えー、久しぶりにはなりますがプロデューサーレタライブも行っていよいよグラフィックスアップデートの内容を実機ドーントレイラーのクライアントを使いながら細かいところをかなり説明していこうと思います。And of course, in April, we plan to do another letter from the producer live to talk about the graphical updates、uh, utilizing actual in game,、um, uh, yeah, oh. using in game. もう本当に今開発佳境に入っているので正直僕このパックスイストの会場のトップでジョブのチェックしてたりするんで。But yeah, the team is working really hard, and I think we're reaching the peak of our development、uh, production. And、uh, I actually am also reviewing the materials that come up and in my hotel room. <笑>なのでそれぐらい一生懸命作ってますんでもうちょっとお待ちください。Um, so, the team is working really hard, so just a little bit more of your patience would be definitely appreciated. That's good. So, now, finally, I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to say that. Um, so, once again, I would like to just look back at the 10 years of AR. Please look forward to it. If you count it from the original it? 1.0, 13 years,、um, just how much support we've received from players around the world and just how appreciative I am of you all. And the reason why we were able to get this far in our journey is just truly, truly, truly because of the players, our Warriors of Light. Um, but yeah, we, continue to, we will continue to strive forward,、um, aiming for the next 10, 20 years, you know,、um, to the day I die, basically, to <laughs> bring you Final Fantasy XIV. Thank you. I'm curious if they are, because people keep talking about. How it would make sense for. Is it 17 to be the next MMO? I, I'm, I'm curious if they're going to end up starting a new one anytime soon. Because I feel like FF14 has so much gas left in its tank. At least with the team it has behind it. That was good. That was good. I don't think they will. I don't think they're going to make a new one. I, like, I make another MMO entry. Like, I know, was、well, it FF? Is it 11 or 10? 11, right? That's the other MMO? Yeah. Like, FF 11, you told me that one's like done. People still play it, yeah, but. Like, its story is like done, done, right? Pretty much? Okay. Oh, man. That was good. That was cool. Who waved at me? What? Someone waved at me. Who are you? You're not here anymore. I can't even view your adventure plate. He's giving us one week to be Elder Rings DLC. Good luck. Godspeed. I won't be playing it, but I'm also like very vocally nodded to Elden Ring. <laughs> <laughs> 